Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Spiritual O. We back with another video, man. I know what the fuck going on. I ain't gonna lie, I got some shit on my mind, though, y'all. Y'all can hold me accountable. So, more of the story is, I don't know if y'all dealing with the shit I'm dealing with, but I'm gonna keep it a honey. I ain't, because you can fake a lot of shit on YouTube. I'll be real with you. But, I posted my day one without smoking weed video and it felt great. Like, I felt good for that day, but I ain't gonna lie. Since that video, I've definitely smoked weed again. And how do I feel about it? Y'all, I came to the conclusion that I like to smoke weed. I, I like to blow down, but I want to go about it a different way. Like, sacrifice that shit for a year or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, not just give it up. I don't know why I'm so attached to this shit. But then I realized it should have vibe and I'm starting to realize you only live once. But I just wanna just have to sacrifice it for a year. Maybe even two years. Like just live my best life. There's a lot of shit I'm gonna reinvent. At a good time too, because I done made so much progress and I haven't really digressed at all, y'all. Like, especially with my body and shit. But I wanna improve my body too, like. You feel me? Your boy, like, still some muscular ass nigga, though. You feel me? I put on some muscles. I don't look bad, but I got some weight on me, for sure. Some good weight, actually. Ain't no bad weight, but I kind of want to live life from a different angle. Something to grow me some little locks and shit like that. Just, I don't know. I'm on a different journey. Y'all going to see the boss up for Spiritual O. Spiritual O has made a way, though. Like, that's thing and just my content, like it's real, like spiritual old oh, starting to shit so real with me. I might have to be on that type of time again, like spiritual old, oh, like that name living on for real, like you feel me? And I've been on YouTube for a while. Um, one of my videos close to reaching a thousand views. That's that's pretty dope. She's at like eight hundred views right now and. Holy fuck, that's pretty dope. I ain't gonna lie, like, I'm having a holy fuck, that's dope moment. Like, I need to start pushing more content on the channel. Um, so yeah, like, this is how I feel about marijuana, in a sense. I think that it can be used in such a better way. And I feel like when you see it's getting in the way of your financial life, that's when it's time to cut back. And that's when I'm saying, okay, I might just have to cut cut back from this shit for a year. Like, I wouldn't mind smoking, because I came to the conclusion, say if I just became a fucking millionaire, I would 100% smoke weed, and I wouldn't even second guess that shit. But I'm not a fucking millionaire. I'm a nigga who work a job in society. And I'm doing pretty good, though. But just like I had to, I have to slow down and Put my money into the right directions because weed ain't the most important shit. It's other shit that's important right now, and I'm seeing that shit. Um, I want to have fun throughout this journey. Most likely, my YouTube content, I feel like that's a wise place to put energy and time into. Um, I recommend if you guys don't got a YouTube, make one. It, it feels good. I feel like I could, it's like an outlet of an escape fucking with the YouTube channel and I got a request for somebody to make a fucking another video um forgot your name but there's some homework I got some homework to do the fact that I'm getting those requests somebody's out there fucking watching so um definitely definitely y'all um I got work today. See, this is when I find marijuana to be the most pleasantful in my life. Um, it's, it's many ways I can say I fuck with it. Like one of the ways I fuck with it is before I get up, go to work. I remember school. Like we used to wake up in the morning, go to school, roll fat backwood, and get fucking blazed. Like I don't know, that shit was just the life. Like. You know, work, 
wake up, smoke, go to work, come home, smoke. You feel me? Now, my problem with it is, fine, Nancy, I've definitely been a functional fucking pothead. But I ain't gonna lie, like, when I wasn't smoking weed, I was fucking the game up. I was outside jogging and shit. I was more in tune with my health. But she could definitely smoke weed and be healthy. So that ain't even kind of, because there's a lot of healthy potheads out there. But knowing that I have to sacrifice shit, and it's things that I need to do, that number one, I haven't been doing. I fell the fuck off. My energy is depleted. But, I, you know, reaching this point, I done reached this point so many fucking times. I'd have been rich in energy so many fucking times. I'm now 20 years old, y'all. Fuck, man. I remember I posted a video on my 19th birthday on my channel. So I, I've been... I want to start pushing more on YouTube. You know, there's a lot of goals that I want to start making. Number one, I love my job. I found me a job that... Honestly, I, I love to fucking go to. It's a great workout in. It's great cardio. Pays me well. Great company. But you guys don't know, I work for the Coca-Cola. I work for Coke, actually. Distributing company. It's soda that you guys like to drink. I'm going to love my job. You know, it's a, it's a very active job. Great pay to take care of me. But, you know, I'm more of an entrepreneur, and I fucking know that. So my brand spiritual oh that's just me on youtube spiritual O is going to be a very lit channel to like watch like spiritual O ain't just spiritual you feel me like definitely he ain't been that spiritual lately i mean spiritual O ain't been that spiritual lately y'all i'm just be straight honest with y'all but spiritual O knows he knows what he has to do to take over his throne back and just be that fucking king again, you know? And the ego thing is being the king in silence. You feel me? Another thing I'm realizing is... Well, I feel so good to just fucking vent out to a fucking camera, man. This shit's a, a cheat code. It's like almost like a diary. Better than that, though. A lot of goals your boy trying to do. I'm 20 years old. Although it sounded more impressive when I was fucking 19 doing this shit. I was 19. I was still by myself in this world. But 20 years old, I'm the only man supporting my fuel. So that's what I'm saying. Like this year off from smoking weed, I think it'll be very beneficial. Um, I'm not too mad about the smoking it part. It's, it's more so of a financial decision. Although weed can be very altering to the mind and make you do things that you know you shouldn't do but although that still comes down to willpower some people willpower is stronger than others hey that's just the the truth in all honesty um definitely i'm not even mad at what i see life anymore i also like trying to look rich while not being rich is dumb as fuck I ain't going to lie, though. I don't know what's good with niggas. Niggas don't know how to drive. But, um, I can't even cap, though. I live in Atlanta, Georgia. I love my environment and my scenery. Like, just being in Atlanta is so dope to me. Oh, the fuck is a cat. What's going on? Meow. Meow. Who fucking cat is this? Fucking cat. <laughs> Holy fuck, I'm talking about real shit. The fucking cat just follows me. I'm not scared of a cat kick that little motherfucker. Meow. I don't know what this is about. Oh, he interrupted my video. Fucking little cute cat. It's a high school right here. I mm, ain't been on this side of the road, actually. Little motherfucker still running. Who fucks your owner, cat? Meow, meow. Who fucks your owner? <laughs> hey, but like I was saying, though, like, for that fucking little midget fucking cat running my video, um, 
What was I saying? Where this little motherfucker is again? Um, what was I saying? Definitely a fucking school though. Um Yeah, I mean I, I say if y'all are like my age, go get a job. But I'm gonna be honest with y'all though, like, yeah, it would be nice to have Goyard bags and shit and Balenciaga, all that shit, but we not rich though. See that's the problem. And I see a lot of people are getting caught up in this trap. Wanting to look like something they aren't. No. I, I ain't gonna lie. I can't just be some generic ass nigga. I ain't gonna lie. I, ain't, I can't be too generic. Like, you ain't gonna catch me wearing some Walmart shit. Because I, I just can't go out like that. Like, I, I don't know. I just, uh, I ain't finna be no Walmart clothes wearing ass nigga. I gotta have some type of branding. But then I just be Nike the fuck now. Like, I don't mind being casual, but I, I, I can't wear no Walmart shit, though. But, I mean, I think $300 t-shirts is straight up ridiculous. Like, that, that's some stupid ass shit to me. But, you know, it, it's whatever people like spending money at. You know, I can't judge it, but like, I ain't gonna lie, only place I can see me having dirt with my money is Little shit I like, like Jordans. I like Jordans and shit, yo. I could see myself buying some pair, like some cold ass Jordan ones for retail. Okay. But if I'm not rich, I'm not gonna try to dress that shit. Because your style and your, your bank account is saying two different things. It's a cute little cat. I will snatch that motherfucker up if I had like a. Um, Nah, I ain't a cat nigga. Really, I wouldn't snatch that motherfucker up. I don't even know that motherfucker. But, um, yeah. Different goals. When I quit my job, if I became successful on YouTube, honestly, I would have to be like really successful on YouTube to do that shit. Um, I love my job for, for the simple fact that. I'm about to go work out and make some money today. Like, God knew what he was doing when he did that. Like, I, I, I remember I was working at a gym. The money wasn't that great. I'm going to be honest with you. It, but it was fucking amazing. Like, now that's the beautiful thing. When you get paid for loving some shit that you do, it's literally fucking heaven on earth. Um... A lot of things I'm trying to do different. So my diet has failed the fuck off, y'all. Um, I'm not trying to make excuses though. But you know, ever since I've been living on my own and shit, I've been eating a lot more like fast food and shit. I've been fucking with the sugary drinks. I work at Coca-Cola, so it's a limited supply of fucking body armors and you know, a bunch of bullshit. But to be honest with you. It's definitely a limited supply of waters. So, what I'm trying to do is, I need to change my my fluid intake and replace it with straight water. Yeah, it should be a lot smoother. Shit definitely would be a lot smoother that way. I ain't gonna lie. Um, also cutting out junk and snacks, like snacks and shit, cutting that shit out. That's when I felt the best, honestly. Now, as far as food, some shit just get a pass. Like, and I still want to improve that because I know I can. It's but it's fucking easy to go to McDonald's and pay that cheap ass price for that food. But fuck, because it's to the point where I'm not gaining weight eating the shit I'm eating, but. I'm sure it's starting to feel like shit. I don't feel like shit right now, but definitely do something to your body. I was eating way healthier. But that's when the money was just like, I don't know. I was just around a different source. Even them niggas was like, I don't know what the fuck they was on. But that's a 14 minute video. This one hit home, huh? 
It's cool. I don't mind making these long ass videos. <sighs> you know? This is very refreshing to do though. Y'all can expect some more. I want to put my time and energy into something. I'm watching too much content instead of creating it. You know, it's just a little ways we go wrong, but as humans, we like to be entertained, though. But, like, it was very important. You know, you can listen to all these spiritual YouTubers you want. Um, talking about jobs and shit, like slavery. Well, shit, one thing, ain't, you know, bills are real. I just hate to break it to y'all. Bills are pretty fucking real. These people must have just got evicted through all this shit in the yard. Shit, evictions are real. Man, life is different. It's a different journey, it's interesting. Definitely rather so interesting. Some shit, I'm just don't let this shit die. I got a Nike Tech hoodie I left at this one spot. Nice ass black Nike Tech hoodie. Yeah, I'll be honest with you, I wouldn't buy another one. I mean, nice fucking hoodie too. But the shit's dead. I mean, shit, I'd just buy another one. <laughs> if I really want that hoodie again, which I can't see myself buying another black Nike hoodie. I got my wares out there, motherfucker, though. So I have my, and it's hot as fuck. Ain't gonna cool down anytime soon. Now I'm just talking about my thoughts. Like, what this nigga talking about? So I ain't gonna lie though, y'all. I'm a good looking nigga, y'all. I came some ways, but I have some progression to do. So I'm gonna have to be in a lab. Just straight lab mode, straight, straight better fucking mode. Cause I be knowing the fucking answers, y'all. I know the answers, but doing this shit is something different. Fuck, I think I have all the fucking answers in the world, but are, are you doing this shit? You feel me? Like, are you doing this shit, though? Like, slide shit I don't want to do. Like, I've been wanting to be lean and mean, but, like, that's something I, I've been wanting to do. So I'm happy with my body side, but I'm, I know I'm bullshit. Cause I'm right around the corner from success with my body, and it's like I just what the fuck I give up. Be putting on muscle though, so it's the great news, right? Gaining size, chest getting way more defined and shit. Legs has trans fucking formed. I remember I had some bitch ass legs. Not my legs, bro. Them hoes in there. I can't even. We ain't need to go on cat with y'all. I'm a tall nigga. I think being a tall nigga make up for a lot of the problems I worry about. Tall ass nigga. So, Lord, thank you for this fucking hike. I know the shit saved me. Oh, yeah, the hike saved me for sure. I ain't even gonna cat, y'all. The hike saved a nigga. Beer saved a nigga, too. That's why I can't trip off shit like that. I'm like, nigga, I'm six foot four. <laughs> you feel me? I'm six four. I don't even trip about shit no more. But it's some shit I'm finna start tripping about. Like, I know I need to be healthier, y'all. I know I need to be healthier. That's why I went on a walk this morning. You know, get some fresh air, get the body moving, drinking that straight water. Doing shit you don't want to do. The sacrifices, it turns you beauty outside. Like, Beauty is pain. Like, I know you want that fruit punch. That lemonade is hot as fuck. You want to dry yourself in that lemonade and that, that fruit punch. But you got to drink that, that water. Shit good for you, my boy. You feel me? But, yeah, you know, it's all smooth, though. You know, we're coming to a closing. Spiritual o out. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram. Bandman Man Glory. B-A-N-D-M-A-N-G-L-O-O. All right, well, when we get rich, I'm flying all you thoughts out to get fucked. That's what's going on. Um, I'm going to be rich one day. I'm going to have Lamborghinis, Bugattis, Hellcats, SRTs, Scats. Even if you're stupid rich. And 
join the scribe if you want to be a stupid rich young light skinned tall nigga like me. Oh, um, bro. Peace.